Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with My Photo Borders. Uh, I have a new design that I want to show you guys that we just released. It's called Frozen. It works perfect for hockey and can also work for ice skating. So let's go ahead and get started here. I just kind of want to go through the layers and show you what you can change and how it can be uh, switched out with a hockey go, without a hockey go. We also have included some uh, logos uh, area that you can put on the floor. Uh, using the uh, Photoshop Smart Objects, and uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to work those. So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn on the uh, floor logo for you. It's going to be this layer here that's color coded in purple. So, we actually have a logo for the floor, and then we have an optional logo for the background um, if you don't want to use the floor. Um, I would also recommend if you're going to use the background logo then I would probably hide the uh, hockey go so there's a couple of different ways you can use this template so let me go ahead and show you so I already have a, my model uh, in here I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so I have my model layer and then I have my model reflection that I did uh, and I'm, I'm going to try to work on another video for you guys showing you how I actually do my reflections uh, maybe to help some of you out that may be having problems with that so for the floor logo we actually have a uh, smart object layer and basically you just double click right here on this little thumbnail and that's going to open up the um, the original logo that I used uh, just for the mock-up of this design so if you want to add your own logo in here basically what you want to do is just hide this layer and then you're going to replace it with your own logo so just to give you an example I have a logo right here um, just a basic logo. I'm going to um, copy this logo so I'm just going to do a control A control C on a PC um, or you can just go up and say edit copy either way works. Uh, so I'm going to come back to my uh, smart object I'm going to paste it in here and let me just scale it up just a little bit right to the edges maybe alright and then when I hit um, control S or file save it's going to save this. If we go back to our design, you'll see that it will update uh, with the new logo. So this one here is a little bit off center. Um, so actually, I do have it off center in the design. So let me set this back to the center. 2400 pixels is the center. And so now we have our logo centered. So if you want this logo to be bigger, um, you can do that. Um, by just doing a um, control T or a command T or you can either go up to the keyboard and use edit transform scale so if I do a control T on a PC you'll see that it gives me the um, uh, the logo itself in the corners basically I just want to drag from the corners if I want to enlarge this um, but then you'd probably want to bring it down as well so just in case you want to make it bigger, um, it's your option. You got, you know, you can play around with it. So um, I'm going to come back to the original logo. I'm going to basically delete this and just put the original back on. I'm going to save it, and it's going to update again. Uh, for some reason, this logo, if you see, it's kind of actually off center a little bit, even though it's centered here. It's, a little bit off center and I think it just has to do with uh, the shape of this um, Wolverine here but that's no problem so if, if your logo is an odd shape and it's not nice square perpendicular or whatever just take this logo and just you could center it wherever you want just like that just drag it left and right and center it and as far as the uh, background logo you have an option to use that uh, I mentioned to you so just turn this logo off I'm going to turn the hockey go off and then I'm going to turn the background logo on and uh, and you'll see it back here so basically same thing this background is a smart object as well just double click you'll see that it's going to open up here same thing if you want to replace it just hide this one and copy and paste your new logo in this space as well and um, it would update back here for you so um, another option you can do is um, in the background you notice I've got a warm glow if you don't want the warm glow um, 
you can just turn it off right here and this will just kind of give you more of a cold kind of more bluish tone uh, if you want to warm it up a little bit just turn that layer back on the background color I have kind of like a more of a cool kind of cold color uh, which I thought works better for the ice if you want this a different color just come down here and click on the uh, background color uh, so let's say you maybe want something a little more red or something to kind of coordinate with the team you can do that uh, just say okay and then you probably want to go ahead and update this uh, bottom color I have a, a color down here at the bottom that says bottom gradient color uh, you're going to want it to kind of match what you have up top uh, so that it kind of looks like it's reflecting into the eyes so just say okay and then you can update that as well to just give you uh, a different look if you want so I'm gonna go ahead and undo these put it back to where we had it so that is pretty much it other than just changing your text editing your text um, that's all pretty much the same as any other template um, just um, if you want to change the uh, name color just click on your uh, text tool here you can update it from here so there you go if you want to change text color so that's pretty much it um, we have this template available in uh, different sizes so um, if you have any questions or need any help with any of our products just please let me know uh, thank you and have a great day